Hey guys, how's it going? Decoy Dog here. I know it's been a while since I've done a video upload. Been a little busy with, you know, tax return season and, you know, the career just been keeping me busy and, you know, just life in general. So I apologize for that. But I'm here and I'm uploading another Grand Theft Auto online video. In this video, I will be in an invite only session for a reason you could probably already figure out by either the name of this video or the attire on my avatar. Yes, this video will be about patch 1.10 or 1.10, however you want to call it. As you can see here, this is one of the newest additions to the game. It is known as the Albany Roosevelt. Quite personally, this is quite possibly my favorite car in the game, if not one of. I absolutely love this car, I love the looks of it, it's very sleek, has a very good old world style, traditional, classic, mafia, mobster, great, I don't know, like a good godfather look to it, and I just, I don't know, I love the overall performance and handling of this car, the appearance, the fact that you can have six people on it, engine has a lot of, I don't know, a lot of muscle sound to it, and it's just all around a very good car. As you can see here, I mean, it's not slow by any means. I know if you look online, it says I think it has a top speed of 75 miles per hour, but I do not see this when I'm driving this car, but then again, I also have it fully modified to include all the EMS engine upgrades, a turbo package installed, along with full brakes and a transmission upgrade. Again, so, me personally, I don't have any issues with this car. I love the aesthetics of it. I love the old world style feel, the speed handling, braking. Everything on this car is just absolutely magnificent. I'm glad that Rockstar put in a patch like this. I didn't see it coming, to be quite honest, but I'm very glad they did to, uh, decide to go ahead and throw this in. And again, I don't know, it gives you a different way to uh, go ahead and play the game. It gives you a different feel. And, uh, yeah, it's all around. It's a great game. I love the attire in here, and I, as you can see here, I have the can see the Tommy gun. Round, but a little bit later, this the weapon actually is a little bit more stronger than the Combat MG, which I know is a very popular, powerful, fast-firing weapon. That. Conjunction with this car, as you can see, an absolute tank is just absolutely awesome. I mean, you have the different male and female character customizations with the different tire that you can go pick up at the stores. I absolutely love this. Again, I did not see Rockstar adding this to their game, but I am very glad that they did. I mean, I love the addition. I didn't see the whole mobster 1920s, 30s era theme coming, but again, you know, Rock, Rockstar is always good at keeping us on our toes and surprising us, and this is an awesome addition. Again, I love this car. I love the get-up. Uh, you can go to the map, suit, shoes, hats, glasses, business shirts, vest shirts, have the Tommy gun, this car, they have a couple other things, I mean, there's a lot of things that have to add that really should not go and it really does add to the quality of the game that makes Grand Theft Auto and Grand Theft Auto Online just so much fun. Uh, I got a list here I'm going to read off of, uh, I'm not going to read off all of the patch updates, but I'm going to read off the uh, top chain as well as on support.rockstargames.com so it is a legitimate source I'm not going off the hearsay in order it does show the rap loader is now available again in GTA Online please see southern San Andreas superautos.com for your vehicular needs this vehicle and all of its mods are free until the following title update I did check this out and I do like the fact that the rap loader again does have that overall hot rod style feel but it just didn't do it for me, so I kind of ditched it, and I got this in this place. I found some other car. It's kind of hard to get it, so all in all, I mean, I, I did go with this car. I don't think I'll be getting rid of it anytime soon. I absolutely love this vehicle. Next on the list, we have a player who kills a passive player must now pay their hospital bills. This is going to be frustrating for some of us. I don't know if you guys and girls are going to be a shoot. But I have had countless occasions where someone was going past the road and literally stopped me. Or in the 
indefinite amount of time and I can't get them off of me sure until I kill them. So I'm sure there's other instances where Kaiser may be kind of quite a nuisance for you guys out there, so you know, there's that. So next up, uh, the mechanic has now been removed when delivering a personal vehicle. The vehicle is now created nearby instead. Basically saying the vehicle will now spawn by itself. The mechanic who I don't know if you had these issues, but all too often the mechanic would drive somewhere else, take forever, and just not show up. So I'm glad to see that they did this. Added a new option to the interaction menu that lowers the attack priority against friends. Not exactly sure what this is referring to. Um, I'm not sure if it's referring to one of the other game modes, and I do apologize for that. So. There is that. Solo players and races now earn ETA money. So if you're out there trying to set a world record, a personal record, you will earn more money for it if you haven't already, you know. You can earn some more money on your own time, and you know, if you don't really like the challenge of, you know, the peer pressure of, you know, racing friends or perhaps even other people. But uh, yes, as you can see here, the Gutenberg Sweeper has a higher damage output, but is not as accurate and is, doesn't have as much range as the combat MG, but still very powerful, um, as you saw earlier, I was pushing a car back with a fire on it. Very nice weapon. Very fun. Uh, next on the list, we have a fix for incorrect time display on the Bad Sport Pool Timer. Fix for several exploits that allow duplication of vehicles. Fix for several exploits that allow too much RP during missions. Fix issues for Corrin Rose haircut. Fix issues for causing characters to become bald after using a mask. Fix for story mode issue where all shops could remain closed with their blips missing. I know this is going to make a lot of people happy, especially myself, where it would show that my character has the hipster slick back haircut, and it would show the cornrows on the sides, and that aggravated the crap out of me. So I'm really glad they went ahead and fixed that along with the, you know, the bad score. And finally, we have a new Boy Kiss celebration as we have it. Show some love and various bug fixes, which plenty more listed below. So, that's what I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be Koi Dog, out.